Flags were at half staff on all public buildings in Kosovo's capital Pristina as the country held a day of mourning for Efrem Bunjako, a police officer killed by Serb gunmen. The attack happened in the north of the country where most members of Kosovo's ethnic Serb minority live. About 30 gunmen dressed in combat uniforms were involved in the attack, opening fire at a police patrol at about 3 a.m. in the Bonska village. The assailants had in their possession an armored vehicle which they used to break down the gates of the monastery where the officer had barricaded himself. The militants then besieged the orthodox monastery until evening hours, killing the officer and injuring another. This is considered one of the worst confrontations since Kosovo declared its independence in 2008. Pristina accused the Serbian government of supporting the armed assailants, while Belgrade denied the accusations, characterizing the incident as Serbs protesting against the Kosovo government. Ethnic tensions in a region marred with ethnic violence in the past are on the rise again.